Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me. Today I'm going to show you how to play PlayStation 1 games on your Xbox console. I bet. So for this, first thing you want to do is go to your settings. Go all the way down to device and connections and turn on remote features. Yes, enable this. Once you enable that, you're good. And what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the Xbox Microsoft Edge browser. Alright, so this is the screen that we want to get to. So I'm going to open a new tab. What you want to do is type in tiny URL dot com slash duck station d u c k s t a t i o n click enter and then you should get this web page right here it should be the xbox store all right so for this what you want to do is click install and then it should ask you install to this should be your Xbox console. So what you want to do is click on this and click install now and it should go straight to your Xbox. And once that's finished, go to your home page and make sure that you got it downloaded right here. This is Duck Station. Now that we got it downloaded, we're going to go to the computer real quick. We're going to put those BIOS files in our USB and we'll get into that step. I bet. So I'm going to put a Google Drive link in the description. It's going to look like this. Just right click on it. Click on download and then uh, just download it to your desktop. Should look like this folder right here. When you for this, there's three BIOS files. There's the American one, the Europe one, and the Japan one. So you should be good for any game. So you shouldn't have any worries. And then with that, just uh, plug in your USB device and drag and drop that into it. And then now from that, we can go right back to the Xbox. All right, once we get back to the Xbox, what you got to do is go down to the settings. Press the right bumper four times. One, two, three, four. You should get to this BIOS settings tab. Go down to BIOS directory. Click on parent directory. Click on this a couple times and you should see all the drives. I plugged mine into the front of the Xbox, so that should be the D drive. So I'm going to click D drive. Go to my PlayStation 1 folder. Look for my BIOS folder. And then I'm going to click use this directory. So you just set up your BIOS directory. Um, what you can also do is if you hover over to the display settings, aspect ratio, if it's not on auto, you can put it on auto. It would just adjust to any screen you're on, so it'll go full screen, but you could also set it up for 4x3, 16x9, and so forth. So I recommend doing auto, and then um, at the bottom, you can enable FPS to display the FPS so you can also do that show resolution a lot of the on-screen displays um, if you go to the enhancement settings tab you will see the internal resolution scales this is where you can buff up the resolution um, I'm on the Series X I've been testing it out at 16 and it works phenomenal at 60 FPS so that's why I've been doing so far I haven't had any issues but if you are playing a game and you're having issues with the resolution bumped up Switch it down and uh, try that. All right, once you get that finished, um, if you need help getting games, I could help you in the comments. But once you have games, what you could do is on the second tab, there's an add search directory. Click on this. Click on parent directory all the way till you see your drives. Go to your drives. Look for your PlayStation 1 games folder. And then click on use this directory. And then when you press B, anytime you go to the open game list, you should see your game. And right here, we're going to test it out. Hey, hey, hey. What Digivolve, Pedamon? Digivolution. Digivolve, Digimon. Digivolution. Ready, rumble. 